Hi guys, uh, my name is Brogan Bowles and I am here with Crystal Young, who yes. is with the Hope Center in Cookville. Uh, and Crystal, will you just start by telling us a little bit about the Hope Center? Sure, absolutely. So Hope Center um, Adoption and Family Services, it is a adoption agency that opened its doors in 2018 here in Cookville. Um, we opened our do doors with the purpose to serve women in unexpected pregnancies to connect them to the plan, the life-giving plan of adoption. Our agency opened its doors really with the heart to connect and support women who were looking to, to make that plan. In addition to the birth mothers that we wanted to connect with, we wanted to connect with adoptive families here in our community because we know that there were many families who were looking to actually complete a legal adoption, um, but again, had to travel outside of the Upper Cumberland or or just didn't have the option of a private adoption agency here in Cookville. That's incredible. Uh, so where are you guys right now? Like, where do you hope to go? You have hopes and dreams or sure. plans for the future? Absolutely, yeah. So we, of course, we're hoping for growth. Um, in our last four years, we have supported more than 40 women in the decision to make an adoption plan. So obviously, we want to see that number grow. We want to reach well beyond the Upper Cumberland. And we have, we've actually had um, some mothers contact us from out of state. So we wanna see that continued growth there. As far as our adoptive families, again, we've helped more than 50 now actually complete a legal adoption. And so we want to continue to see adoptive families, to have adoptive families come into our agency, utilize our services, and go forward with a legal adoption. So that's amazing, first off. Goodness gracious, so many families. That's awesome. Um, tell us things that we can do to help you guys, like for the local community and stuff like that. What are some things that you guys need that we could do? Absolutely. So we are, one thing about our organization um, that we were very intentional about is how we are funded. So we are funded um, privately through private donations. We don't um, seek out state or federal funding. So of course, we are always looking for financial partnerships that are going to support us in remaining a permanent piece of this community. Um, having the financial support, it also allows us to keep our fees very low um, and reasonable for adoptive families. So the national average for an adoption has remained pretty steady at about $40,000. So $40,000 for a family to complete a legal adoption domestically. Of course, internationally, that goes up. It can go up exponentially. So for us, the, the average that we've been able to maintain is about $17,000. So by having the support, the financial support of our churches, of our community, we're able to keep those fees very, very low. Um, for our birth moms, they don't pay anything. When it comes to services, our services are free and confidential for them. So again, we want to be able to maintain a very lean agency in which you know we're not having to pay a lot in overhead costs because we really want for our families to know and have a high accessibility to adoption. So that's one way that we can always partner together. Another way, just as we're looking to grow and expand our physical location, just having volunteers, um, men and women that want to be a part of our ministry, that want to help us to expand our office hours by just being present with us throughout the day and throughout the week. That's a very practical need that we've not been able to quite expand on because we've been in just a smaller location. And so we're hoping to, by the fall, be in a much larger space um, to which we could host more volunteers and in turn have more programs and in turn just reach further into the communities. Well, Crystal, I love you so much, first off. And I love all of that. I love all of that information. Um, and here at Life Church, we do something every month where we ask our congregation to give one extra dollar. Sure. Um, and at the end of that month, we just compile all of that. And um, we love to give it to people in our community and just causes that we get behind. That's wonderful. So I have a check for you today. Oh, that's so unexpected. <laughs> yeah, for $5,000 just oh my to gosh. help you guys. Are you serious? Brogan, it's that serious. is so wonderful. Thank you. Uh, thank you. You are so welcome. This was not expected it. at all. <laughs> thank you. And thank you to your church for doing this. Um, Gosh, this will go a long way. 
um, especially if I can just speak to the needs that we have been seeing in this last year, especially with our birth mothers um, and in just our heart for growing that aspect of our ministry. We've had a lot of pressing financial needs from women and thankfully the Lord's provided to where we can meet those needs, but this is something that's just going to help us.